remember that story that we were talking about a couple of weeks back? And if you haven't seen part one, please go back, go see part one so you can understand where I'm coming from. Here's a continuation. So in the airplane, I'm basically dying, you know? And my body is completely out of whack. And, you know, I, I'm going through the same motion of vomit and diarrhea six times on a six hour flight. But I mean, guys, think about it. It's not get up and go vomit or get up and go do diarrhea. Um, it's more like a street fighter, yeah! triple combo. <laughs> it, it, they're both coming at the same time. At this point, the stewardesses, every time they see me get up, they hand me a garbage bag. No longer a barf bag, they hand me a garbage bag. So I develop a system for going to the bathroom. I put my hands on my knees and I just stick my head in the bag. And as stuff comes up, stuff goes down. I'm dehydrating myself. My body is completely being dehydrated of all sorts of liquid because I also cannot take anything in. So we arrive at the Paris airport. My coworker looks at me at, at the luggage uh, pickup and tells me, you know, you don't look good, right? Really? Because I just, you know, I'm kind of dying here. And you're telling me that I don't look good. Wow. I had nothing else to say. We take a cab ride to the hotel. So we check in at 8.30 in the morning in Paris. I look at the guy at the counter and I ask him, Sir, can I please check in? That's just like the worst plane ride of my life and I'm feeling horrible. Because we just look like, Sir, we cannot accommodate you right now to your room. Check in is at 3 o'clock. Thanks a lot, dude. So we head down to the restaurant um, that is located in the dungeon underneath the hotel. <laughs> yeah, it's a dungeon. And the only thing that I was able to put in my mouth was a piece of baguette, which immediately my body rejected. Which I had to get up, find the one servant that was there and ask him where's the bathroom. But the guy doesn't understand me because he doesn't speak a lick of English. And... <laughs> I vomited. In the middle of the restaurant in front of people. Oh my god, he's vomiting! He's sick! Quarantine him! Put him in a bowl! <laughs> so this happens and I go up, I tell the guy, listen, I need my, my I need my luggage. I need to change my clothes. I just vomited. This one lady pops out of a room, grabs a key, rushes upstairs. Ten minutes pass, I'm just standing there, comes down, and says something in French and all I could say was thank you and that's it. Long story short, I go to my room and I pass out for a good 16 hours. I wake up literally on Monday, 15 pounds lighter. So I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, horrible tale of my worst flight ever. Thank you guys for coming and joining me on this trip. Um, Thank you guys for coming and watching my channel and subscribing to it. Again, like always, if you like what I'm doing, if you like what I'm saying, leave a comment below. I read them and I try to respond to every single one of you. Share the videos if you think that they're worth sharing. And tell your family and friends. You know, the, the support is always great, uh, greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Laters!